Hey guys, this is Benny1234 and here I'm to on how to fix the Grub Bootloader after the upgrade of 10.04 LTS for Ubuntu. Now, if you're one of those people that ticks every single box that on the Grub Bootloader options during the upgrade, then you'll most likely notice that uh, if you're dual booting, that you won't be able to load up Windows anymore. You'll just get the underscore on the top left hand of the screen. Now, this is because you've inserted the Grub Bootloader into the Windows Bootloader which I will not explain. But the most easiest way to fix this issue is load up Ubuntu again and then download this program free ID terminal called Test Disk. Now for people that use Linux quite a bit will know about this program. So let's load up uh, Ubuntu. Okay, so we're on Ubuntu. Now, what you need to do is on the top taskbar is you want to click on Applications. Then on Applications, you want to hover over Accessories, and then on right down on that menu, you want to go right down to the bottom and click on Terminal. Now, I'm just going to zoom in so you can see uh, what I'm doing. Now you want to be root level, so all you need to do is just type in sudo, then space, then a hyphen, which is just like a little dash, then i. And then it will prompt you for your password that you just typed in on your login, so just type that. And now your root. Now if you haven't already got it installed, then all you need to do is just type apt hyphen again, get install test disk. Now that's all in one word, no spaces or anything, and just hit the return key and then it will install and then that's it. Now once you've installed that, you want to just type test disk, all in one word again, and then hit return key and you'll get this on your terminal. Now what you need to do is on the arrow keys go right down to the bottom where it says no log and then hit return key. Now you need to select the hard drive that you've got your bootloader on for Grub, which is mine, which is the 500 gigabyte, as that's my memory stick. Now I'll just hit the return key, and again, and here you want to select Intel for Intel slash PC partition. And just scroll down to once, and then hit return key on the advance. And here you will need to know your partition. Now at the top here I've got System Reserved. Then here, I've got the main partition, which has got my Windows on it. And as you can see right at the bottom, you've got Linux. Hopefully you can see that. So now you need to find out which partition has got your Windows 7 on it. So you can use the built-in disk utility that Ubuntu has got. So just click on System on the top, on the top taskbar. Then go down to Administration, and then Disk Utility. And then here you just want to just click on your hard drive, which is mine there, which is the 500 gigabyte hard drive ATA. So just click on that. And then here it will give you a list of partitions on your volumes. Now here I've got a system research, which I just showed you in the test disk. Now this is my main partition, which has got Windows 7 on it. So that's my partition for that. So I'm just going to minimize that. Now I know that's my second one and it's after the system reserved. So, what you do is you hit return key on that and make sure boot is actually selected underneath. So, hit return key and then you just go over to rebuild BS, which is just rebuild the uh, boot sector. And that's it. You hit return key on that, it'll take a few seconds. Then, after that, once it's done, you want to reboot your computer and then on the, once you come to the Grub bootloader you just want to um, hover over to your windows and hit the return key and hopefully it solved your issue so I'm just going to reboot now
Okay, so we're at the Grub Brew Loader. So, what we need to do is go right down the bottom. And for me, I'll be using Windows 7 for this example. So, I'm just going to click on that. And there you go, Windows is now working. So, I hope this was helpful. And uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe.